in this video i'm going to be showing you how to design your very own website using wix welcome back to the channel my name is c jam and in today's video as i mentioned we're going to be creating our very own custom website yes custom to match your own brand using wix now this video isn't sponsored by wix however i am an affiliate of wix and i'll explain what that means a little later on in the video so let's get designing all right so here we are on wix's website and obviously the first thing we're going to have to do is click the get started button and then it will ask us if we want to log in or don't have an account sign up so let's go ahead and hit the sign up button and then enter your email obviously create a password you know the usual stuff and then hit the sign up button all right so here they want to know what kind of website we're going to be creating and i need to put on my glasses these are just blue light glasses that i got i just need to keep them on because i'm going to be staring at the screen so long so what kind of website are we going to be creating um let's go ahead and create a portfolio right let's say well is it a portfolio yeah let's just say for learn share photo video which is my um brand obviously let's go ahead and click next right and then what would i what would i like to call my website let's call it lspv learn share photo video let's click next and then it's going to ask me for some options here um i can add these sections to my site the portfolio is built in i can add a form i can add an online store an instagram feed you can choose whatever it is you want to add to your personal website let's go ahead and just click next for the purposes of this tutorial and then it's going to ask me if i want to start with a template or i want to let wix um design the site for me so I'm just going to go ahead and click begin with a template because I want to choose the blank template option that they have. And then obviously you can see they have a lot of stunning templates here that look oh so good. But what I want to do, as I mentioned, is I want to use a blank template, right? So here are their blank templates and these are all blank. They're just like these are the section for you and all you have to do is just go in and edit what you'd like. They have a host of them here but what i want is really like truly truly from scratch so this is a blank one if i were to click view there would be nothing there so what i want to do is i want to just go ahead and click edit right and wix is working for you they're working for you and one of the cool things that i like about wix is their free website feature so even though this website is free and you didn't pay to connect a domain or you're not paying for hosting you can still actually use the website right clients can still come to the website and contact you use your contact form etc all right so it's all ready to go and we can start customizing let me just click remind me later all right so here's the completely blank canvas and and what I want to do is let's just add a menu first, right? Let's go over here to our add elements. Let's click this plus sign. Let's navigate down to menu. You can have horizontal menus, vertical menus. They have so much things here that you can add. But for the purposes of this tutorial, let's just go ahead and just drag a menu up on the page here. And we're putting it right here in the header. Um, that sound is just telling you that it's pinned to the header. Let's go ahead and manage the menu. Let's rename the home page because it's all caps and I don't necessarily want it to be all caps. So we have home portfolio. Let's just change that. Well, let's just add another page. You have themes here that you can just pull from, but let's just add a blank page just for the purposes of this tutorial. All I want to do is really just populate the menu so you guys can see what it will actually look like if you had a website with a full menu. Let's just have home about contact and let's just delete um, portfolio. I can delete it or I can just hide it from the website, right? Let's just click hide and it's gone from the menu. You see that? All right. So now let me add like a logo or just add some text. Let's click the add elements button. Let's add text. Let's use heading two. And then let's just write like LSPV, right? And let's just change the color of it to hit the color let's choose this orange this is the closest thing to my actual brand orange and then let's just size that down and just put it up onto the header here like a logo let's edit the text let's size it down to about 30. oops what did i do let's undo that let me just bring it out here first let me see what's happening let's do heading three Heading five, um, 
Let's do Helvetica bold. Let's change the color back to the orange. Right. Uh, well, actually, let's do Lulo. Let's do Lulo because I like Lulo. <laughs> I like Lulo. And then let's just move it up here into the header. That's it right there. And then for the menu, I can just move it all the way over. Right. Or I can ha have the um, I can do the LSPV up top or the menu right here. If I wanted to, I have options, right? Let me just undo both of that or hit control and Z. Just move it down. So I have the LSPV here, the menu here, right? And we're looking good. We're coming together nicely. And what I want to do is let's just add a footer. Let's just add some text to the footer, right? Let's just add some paragraph text, like the really small one. And let's just have like the copyright symbol, which is alt. The shortcut for that on Windows is alt um, 0169. So hold alt um, 0169. I'm not sure what it is on Mac. Let's do 2099. Learn, share, photo, video. All right. Reserved, right? Let's just extend this. So let's align this to the center. Where are my toolbars? Uh, let's go to tools toolbars and then rulers you know the rulers like photoshop you know how we do it and then let's just align this to the center of the footer here right let's just change the footer design let's scroll down to a dark color where did it go yes let's customize the design because it, i think it has two colors it has a center background and an outside background i want this one to be let's make it darker Let's make both of them dark. Um, wait, wait. Yeah. <laughs> and the text is black, obviously. So I have to click on the text, click edit. And then first, let me align it to the center. And then let's change the color to white or orange or white. What do you guys think? Oh, it's fine. I don't want this to be this dark. So let's click the footer. Let's click change footer design customize footer design, fill color on opacity, and then let's just make it like a dark gray instead. The preloaded the preloaded gray that's there, that's fine. And what I'm gonna do is let me just delete the portfolio because it's, it's still there. Oh, I can't delete it. I have to add another section first, all right. Let's add elements, let's add a strip. Let's add a welcome strip. I just want something like with my photo. Let's see what the about ones are let's add a classic strip just like and let's just build it ourselves right all right so let's delete the oops i think i can i delete it though all right let me delete it no no all right let me add back the strip i can't delete it oh yeah but it's gone now right oops all right so let me d add the section again because i deleted the um the, um, oh, this is a quick, quick edit view. Let's just add the dark strip again, right? So the footer got stretched out. Um, let's do 200. No, that's too big. Let's do 100. The height is 100. What was it before? Was it 150? No, it was 100. You can control all of that over here on your toolbars. That's why I was wondering where it was when I didn't see it, right? No, I can um, change the section background. I can add an image, right? And you can upload any image you want. Obviously, all you have to do is just click this upload media button, or you can use what Wix has on their website. Let's do, you can do a search or you can upload your own image. Let me upload my own photo. Let me drag it in and here I am. It's uploading for me. This photo is way too big. I should have sized it down before I uploaded it. It doesn't need to be eight megabytes. It really doesn't need to be eight megabytes. Um, all right, so there we have our photo. Let's just go ahead and hit change background. Yay, it's an old photo of me. And then let's size the stone. Let's size the stone. Well, let's increase the size, sorry. <laughs> that way the photo shrinks out. I look so weird in that picture, but oh well. For the purposes of this tutorial, let's stick, let's stick to it. All right. And then let's hit preview or you can hit save 
to say about that you've done so far and then it will ask you to name the website and here it has lsbv right because that's the name that we entered earlier and you'll see if you stick to the free domain that wix offers you'll see that this will be the name of your website and then you can connect your own custom domain if you already purchased the domain from wix themselves or somewhere else like namecheap or godaddy etc etc right Let's just go ahead and click save and continue and then you can publish the website to make it visible or you can go to preview that's what i want to do just to see what the website looks like that thus far there we have it we're looking good let's go back to editor and all we're going to be doing is just add some text this is way too big that's way too big all right let's just add some text add elements let's add some text like heading one let's add um the best <laughs> graphic design tutorials on youtube period i mean i don't personally think that but um <laughs> yeah let's make it heading two right let's align the text to the center for center alignment for the text and then let me align it to the center of the strip right and then let me change the color to white I just clicked on edit text right there as you saw let me click the image the strip background change your background let me hit settings and then let me add a color behind the image right right now what's there is black i don't want that let's keep the orange or let's do the yeah let's keep the orange no definitely not let's do the blue i'm sorry wrong thing All right, let's see what something darker looks like. All right, let's go to preview, see what we got. Yeah, the best graphic design story on YouTube. Maybe I should have made the LSPV black or white, but let's go back to editor. And then let's add a button. I just want a button that says subscribe. Buttons here, they have a ton of designs that you can choose from. Let's just choose a button here. And I should have, let me go back. Control and Z to undo, or you can click the undo button up here. I should have chosen the white one or something lighter, right? Then let me make the width 200, height 40. Let me change the text and the icon. And let me, oh, sorry. Let me name this subscribe no or Subs yeah, subscribe now that's fine and then let me change the design let me go to customize design let me go to corners and then let me just add like 10 pixels to the corners just so it's slightly rounded see that let's go to the text and see what we have helvetica that's fine um should it be helvetica bold yeah that's fine um character spacing automatic i don't want any of that going on zero yeah that looks fine and then let's size it down to 14. all right so the button is fine the button is fine and then what else do i want to do what else do i want to do let's hit preview let's hit preview so the next thing that you can do is you can link this button to your actual YouTube page by clicking on the button, clicking this link icon, and you can choose web address and you can enter a YouTube link right here. So I'd enter HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash um, YouTube.com forward slash learn share photo video, right? So when I click on the button, it will actually take me to my YouTube channel, right? So it's linked. I can do the same thing to the LSPV. I can add a link, click on it, add link. I can link it back to the home page so that whenever that button is clicked on, for example, if I'm on another page, right, it will take me back to the home page. What is that? Okay. All right. So let me just go ahead and click page and just click, click it, link it to the home page and click done. All right, so here it is. You'll see that it changed to with to have an underline, which I don't like. So let me turn that off. All right, it's ready to go. Let me just um, 
change the button to orange as well. Let's go to the design, customize design, and then you can go to, where is it? Fill, and the color is orange. Let's do the text. Let's change it to white. Where is it? Okay. Text color, white. All right. Subscribe now. And then let's click save. And then let's click preview to see what we have. Right there we are. How are we looking so far? What I can do next is I can just extend the footer and I can add like the social media buttons in the footer. I can add it up top or I can add it here in the body of the website. Let's go back to editor. Now I'm actually thinking that I should probably have made the color behind the image be like blue, like actually blue because my colors are actually orange and blue. Let me just choose the blue. But I don't like how the blue looks though. I really don't. That's fine. It's just for the purposes of this tutorial, all right? All right, so what I'm gonna do is just extend the footer like so. Let me also extend this section here. Save. Done. Preview. See what we have. It's coming together nicely. It's coming together nicely. I just need to center this in the footer. Let's go back because there's a minimum height that your website has to have for certain oops for certain screens let me make this 200 no that's way too high the price is way too high you need to. <laughs> all right cool so let's center that let's click save and then what i'm going to be doing next is just adding some social icons right so let me well let me change this font i don't like this font let me go to Wix. Wix has some nice ones here. Wix made for display bold. That's looking much better. Let's bring up the subscribe a little more. Maybe not so close to it, but like, yeah, I really like how this looks. Let's capitalize the graphic design because like that's a legit thing, right? And then let me change the LSPV. But yeah, let's change that edit text. Let's change it from Lulo. I liked Lulo, but let's just do Wix made for display just to keep like a little theme. And if you wanted to change the theme of any element on your website, meaning the text themes, the fonts that are used or the colors, all you have to do is come over here to site design. And then you see site theme here. All you have to do is click customize and you can change, you can choose a preloaded theme or you can go to colors and text and just customize any one of them you want. All you have to do is click on it change the font and then ensure to click apply you can also adjust the size here all right so let me exit that we're looking good let me come over to the menu here manage menu no let me go to design now let me customize the design let's find uh wait let me see the menu container is there a background color no okay good menu items let's change the text to something that can complement the wix made for display bold the font that we just used Helvetica is cool. Let's do, let's do Poppins. Is it Poppins? No, let's do Proxima Nova or Railway. Yeah, let's do Railway, but let's size it down to 30. And then character spacing, let's do zero. I don't know why that's like that. Custom. And then let us choose, let's bump it back up to 14, right? And then that's looking better for me. I like that. All right, and then let me just shrink this and shrink the spread of the menu. Let me go to layout and see what options I have. I can do horizontal spacing between items. This is what's happening. Let's do zero, All right? And then that's looking very good. That's looking very, very nice. Let's go to preview and see what we have. This is looking real good. What do you guys think so far? I think I probably want to make this down here a little bit darker. The footer, the background for the footer. Let's make that a little darker. Where is it? Change footer design. Customize design. Fill color and opacity. Do I want it black or do I want it dark blue? Dark blue. Dark blue is looking good. Dark blue. 
and now let me add some social media icons and then that's all we're going to be doing so let's go to add elements let's go to social let's add one of these strips here you can do the colored ones but i like to do the themed ones you know without any colors without any backgrounds let's just drag it and drop it onto our page let's put it right here let's size it down let's hit um layout let's change the size to about 20. All right maybe that's too small <laughs> let's do 25 right you can also change the layout from horizontal to vertical but let's go ahead and set the social links let's delete what we don't want let's delete the twitter facebook linkedin tiktok all i want is the youtube and instagram and if you wanted to add your own links here all you have to do is click this button that click this link that says what social page does this icon link to and click that and then you can add your own social handles so i can just add learn share photo click done you have to click done that's super important you do the same youtube.com slash user slash learn share photo and then to change the icons which is what i really wanted to do you just click replace icon and then all you have to do is search for youtube click enter and then you look for the one that you want i want the white one you're not seeing it but i believe it's right here because the background is white obviously right and then let me click the instagram replace icon and then let me hit um what do you call it instagram here yeah. we're looking for the instagram icon the white one that's not visible i think it's this one all right yeah we're good to go click done and how cool is that right how cool is that all right let's bump it up one two and then let's click layout we can probably bring it back to 30. what do you guys think right right preview preview we're looking good we can also put it like below it if we want we can also duplicate it and put it like underneath here if you want remember this is just to show you guys how you can get started with designing your own website and i think we're doing pretty good what do you guys think and let's go ahead and go back to editor and then all i have to do next to make this website ready to go is just go ahead and hit publish and then wix will give me the free domain link here that it has right this long link right here that i can share with anybody but if you also want you can just go ahead and click done and you can edit the mobile site right so you can control how the website looks on mobile so let's go ahead and edit the mobile site and you can see Wix will do its best to lay it out for me, which is not bad. It's not terrible. Let me just go ahead and extend this, right? Let's bring down the LSPV, the font. Let's size it down like so, right? Let's align the menu icon there. The header is here. I can, let me zoom this in. Can I zoom it in? Yeah. That way you guys can see it better. What I can do next is I can just change the height of the header to exactly 100. Click enter. Then I can move the button and the text and the social stuff down some, right? I can actually size this down too if I wanted, right? The button should be 200 by 40. That's what it was, right? We have our footer. Extend this. Let me just align this here right right let's hit preview and see what we got oh let me zoom back out let me zoom back out all right and this is looking pretty good obviously i'd have to probably um adjust the photo a little bit more or just size this down some more that way the text is not covering my face right what i could do is probably just size this down and just move some stuff around right or on mobile site what i could do is just like put this up here right and then extend this right <laughs> but as you can see my mobile site is ready to go and if i were to go ahead and go back to the editor you can also customize the menu here if you were to click on the menu you can customize how the menu would look you can customize the design and you can customize the color of the text and backgrounds in the design right but it's fine for now let me go ahead and close menu let me just see what buttons we have this button right here that shows up on mobile you can choose from a host of options that you have here right if i were to go ahead and choose one of them it will just get changed for me right that's all you have to do to change that right 
So let's go ahead and just keep it like that. And if I wanted some more space right here in the body of the website on mobile, all I have to do is just drag this down like so. See that? And then I can move the subscribe button. Oops, let me move them together. Move the subscribe button and the font down, the text down, shrink the um, footer some more. And this is looking more acceptable because on mobile, it's like longer, right? You can also just like shrink the header because it doesn't have to be that big if it doesn't need to be, right? Let's do 70. And then let's just align this. No, let's put this in the middle. Let's click on it and then just align it to the center. Click the header, same thing. The header, the, the menu button, same thing. And what I like to do when I'm working on mobile is just dragging out a guide that's about 20 pixels from either side, right? Either ends. That way, when I'm laying out elements, nothing gets past like this marker because the website is 320 pixels in, um, let me zoom in. The website is 320 pixels in width across this designer here. So everything, every element should be within these two guides, right? So nothing should be out of it. No font, no image, no logo, nothing. And all I have to do now, because this is acceptable for me, is just go ahead and click publish and all my changes will now be live and my website will be ready to go. Now, remember this website, I'm just showing you how to move from zero to a workable, usable website using Wix, right? So we started from scratch with our blank template and now we have our very own website that we can call our home. Earlier, I mentioned that I'm an affiliate of Wix and what that means is when you use my link to sign up for and purchase a premium subscription from Wix, Wix will give me a commission at no extra cost to you. So it's like you going to Wix and knocking on their door and say, hey, I heard about you guys from C Jam. I think you should really thank him for referring you to me. So that's all it is, nothing more. And remember, it's no extra cost to you if you use my affiliate link. So I have a couple of questions. Have you heard of Wix before? Do you have a website? If not, are you planning to get your own website now based on all that we've done here today? And did you know that it was so easy to design your own website with Wix? Let me know in the comments below thank you thank you so much for watching this video and if you're interested in more website related design tutorials click right at the screen to watch this video right now